Hey guys, what's cracking? Um, I'm going to do an October top 10 list. Now I muffed it up good uh, and I've made it 11 because I'm trying to make it uh, the top 10 most exciting games that I think that are here or coming. Now, of course, super early in Solana blockchain gaming. I mean, super fucking early because some of these top 10 haven't even minted their first mint yet. Let's talk about Star Atlas quickly. They had a big cooling down period over the last two and a half weeks. Um, and they've got a big week this week where they have the um, faction selection. They've got more ships launching in the GAO. And then they're going to get back into another town hall, which I would expect um, they will have some more announcements there. They needed a cool down period. It was super good for it um, and keen to see more. Cryo War. Now, there's a reason I haven't really seen a whole lot about these guys in the last few days and I am expecting them to have something coming out soon what was it uh, they did do an October 3 tweet I think it was potential gameplay um, for October I do maybe it was a mint so keep your eyes on cryo war they've been producing for three years the beginning of the year they went to um, to blockchains they came onto Solana and they are building on UE4 going to UE5, I think. It's funny how in, in a couple of weeks I forget so much. Aurori. Now, these guys had a big move this week with dropping some alpha into a um, interview with CEO Wags from Star Atlas. And then, of course, they had the TSM tweets. Now, what did that do to Aurori? It took their um, floor and doubled it at a point, pretty much. So the floor now has gone just under... Uh, 50k, uh, 50 soul. I think it might be just under 40. Maybe it was 38, something like that. But um, super big. They're talking about minting for giving one away to charity, selling one possibly. But either way, they're looking at minting four. So as to how much influence they're going to have in the game, it shows you that TSM are out. They're ready to go. They want to start doing things that aren't just League of Legends, which is super cool. Now let's look at DeFi. I bumped this down to four, even though I've been playing it every day. Now, I've done all my quests. Um, there are people that are, let's see if I can find me rocks because that gets me 30 experience points. You get a lot of experience points from um, doing the tractor uh, laying seeds, I believe. It's something like 100 experience for doing that. So I think, I don't know whether it's people playing games all of the time, um, but yeah, let's have a quick look. I check this daily because I, I do expect there's going to be more quests coming out soon. Um, possibly, possibly um, link ups to maybe something more than just radium. So old Grackham is still up top there, up there by a lot. Um, but there was still a chance, 19k. You know, like I'm still at 36k, so I'd imagine there'd still be a chance to get in there. So we gave away some codes on our Friday night stream last week. We've got some more codes on our Friday stream this week from DeFi Land. They are super awesome powerhouses. Um, and I've had a lot of fun on this game. So um, that's definitely staying as my number four. Now this one here, I only just come across this in the last few days and put it to number five. Now I think this will be years away from production um, for the full game. So there's going to be something coming out and they are going to be doing a early mint which is going to be based on their star garden. So there's going to be 7,000, uh, as we've got the number, 7,027 founding star gardens. It's going to be a land system. And if you can actually look at the picture, you can sort of see it doesn't look like a small um, just have one house for you, you and the missus and the kids. Um, it's going to be, that's me phone, I'll have to call my missus back. Um, that's going to be a land which you have more uh, more individuals. So the land is going to be sh not shared. It's got, there is going to be a land owner, but there are going to be teams building on these. What I liked about this specifically was to um, having a chat uh, in Discord to one of the developers, and he seemed really, really awesome. He's been in the gaming industry for a long time. They've got big plans. They can only talk about so much, obviously but um, they want to do extra things and possibly have something that would be a metaverse that could rival Star Atlas. Super early days, but uh, also a chance that you can get in there, do some of the challenges, do some of the tests if you like code breaking, if you like in-depth gameplay, if you like gameplay that's not centered around pay to win. 
Um, I think this is a super cool game to have a look at. They are going to be a game that will be here, I, I hope, eventually. Um, next year, maybe some kind of gameplay. Who knows? It's, it's very early for me to do that. I want to deep dive this game and actually get in there and do a good research on it. K-Myth. Now, I'll put this down at number six, I believe. Yes, uh, 5v5 player, uh, MOBA mechanics, um, League of Legends kind of thing. This is going to be based on... Uh, gods, goddesses, heroes from the Indian laws. So we've got Wukong. Some of the graphics are super cool. I've been chatting with Zo a fair bit from um, Chain Myth. He's a super awesome dude. Um, and I like how some of it's going to be based on historical stuff, but then they're going to have a bit of fun with some of it. You see here, uh, possibly is that a rocket launcher gun on there? Maybe a flamethrower. Um, now, there was another picture here. They're having a bit of fun with it. I did notice in uh, Discord today, they had a competition which was based around giveaways of their crowd, of their crowd, of their supporters giving, um, uh, not feedback, but giving drawing over the top of a frame and designing their own character. This happened this afternoon. So how long that competition went for, I don't know, but there would be a chance. Watch the video, go in and have a look. Um, they'll be giving away characters specially done for the individuals that win that competition. To me, that's awesome. Um, you're seeing a lot of these games trying to build um, teams of people that want to get in early, support the game, not just for getting in there to make a huge profit. Um, very good potential, this game. I do love it. I do love the fact that it's centered around something different um, than the standard Roman, Greek, um, Viking type stuff. It's, it's going to be fun in a different level. Uh, and hopefully we can get some kind of um, competitions happening at Grape to help with that. So I, I, I do like this. I love the artwork. Uh, you see here a couple of the characters, Yama, Shiva, uh, gods, I should say. I don't know a lot about their history and that kind of stuff, you know, like their um, special gods and all that. I know little bits and pieces from reading, but um, super excited about that game. That should be a good one. Solar Knights. Now, this was another one I put onto a video last night. Um, and the reason I like Solar Knights is talking again to the game devs. This has been something really awesome this week. I've been talking heavily with game developers and um, these guys all met on the UE um, discords and built their team around there. Uh, they've got some big brains behind it. They've got a lot of good developers. They've got a good sized team. Uh, UE5 is the aim to put the game out on and they do have some gameplay. They had three videos on um, YouTube and this was probably one of my my favourites, um, just based on being a lot uh, a lot more light. You can see the old Bando lag. Now we're going to see some potential gameplay um, in December. We hope for December, which is going to be a boss kill. So 5v5 versus a boss. Um, I hope to see more information. This one was all set up with different traps and stuff. So they do have three videos in there. Get in. Um, they had their first mint coming up this week. Um, and I do think that will be a good game. I went and bought myself a common last night on their uh, Metaplex. It only cost me one Solana. But when their mint comes out, hopefully I'll get the details myself. And um, I'll have a crack at minting. They're going to be doing 10,000 um, mint. Uh, price hasn't been set yet, so I don't know what it's going to be. Um... The ones on their auction house at the moment are based cost-wise versus uh, the rarity. So the, the uncommons, rares are a little bit more expensive than the commons, of course. I, I just bought a common. Um, I thought I was happy with the, the, you know, I was happy with my review into the game um, and all of that. Nine heroes. I've put this at, is it number eight? Now I want to deep dive this game because it is immersive with the amount of information they had. I get a big Robotech kind of feeling how you've got a, it's actually based on a cat game, save the cats, I think it might be. But um, the robots look awesome, the graphics look awesome. It reminds me of very robotech -y type stuff. Um, they've got storyline, they've got tokenomics, there's gonna be, I think, two coins. Um, very, very detailed game. And there are chances to get early minting options. Um, through doing some of the challenges in their Discord. So this is still a very early game as well as to when they've got gameplay. They've got a time plan out there as well. Everything changes. But um, I do like the looks of this. And it was interesting to see. They're going to be minting something like 11,000 in the first mint. 
and they're going to be charging between three and six sol maybe on some kind of um, bidding system so the the community is going to decide how expensive they are now look in a climate where uh, nfts have gone under ten thousand you've got some you know going under five thousand and going under two solana um, to me that shows a, a big set of balls to do that so what does that mean then obviously they believe in their product that that must be where you're kind of thinking of so a little bit uh, basic graphics on the cats but some of the other graphics the websites the immersive amount of information just made me be bullish on this particular game so uh, I do like it do like seeing more about it project seed had a bit of a quiet uh, couple of weeks uh, I'll keep banging on to the bloody thing um, now they announced something about linking up on Binance um, being a two, uh, two platform game, two blockchain game. Uh, they also had a little announcement today they're looking for a Philippines community manager. Um, anyone with dual languages um, is going to have a good time in gaming coming up. Now Vietnamese, Philippine, Indian, there's going to be huge amounts of chances to be able to to show these games. If you've got friends, family, dual linguists, all those kinds of things, you can tell them, get into gaming, it is a good time. Um, I've been held up on doing an AMA with these guys based on language, so uh, it is a very real thing out there. Coming in at lucky number 10, we've got Keiju Cards. Now the reason I've put these guys at number 10 um, is because of this article. It goes very high into detail, we'll be going through it Friday night as well on our stream. It talks about the mechanics, it talks about having multiple cards, having individual cards, um, being able to mint NFTs. It talks about a fair bit and it's probably the most detail we've seen. Um, it will be cool to see more information. They do have a live cinematic coming out, I believe, um, soon. Um, and it's been good things upwards and inwards. So you can see their island based on Florida. Um, Mikey, come on, it's got to be time for an AMA. Now, this is why I fucking think I'll have to work this out. This I'll put these guys in at um, 11th. Ninja Protocols had a lot of um, big strides come through in the last couple of weeks. Um, now, part of those have been they had Orca listings. They're putting in extra liquidities for bonus pools. They've had something like 12 legendary ninjas. It might be 13 now. And I, I don't recall. I don't remember. It's, it's a lot. The, the ninja coin is up around the $3 mark as well. So it's quite expensive to enter into it. It's, it's a play to win game, um, pay to win game. Their graphics are top notch. Um, they have gameplay that is available. They do Sunday night poker on Twitch um, and they talk about the game. They've got a bigger and bigger following um, every day. They do a lot of tweets. They keep very active in the community. So um, there will be lots to see on those guys. Um, I think, was it November, they might have um, gameplay for their legendary ninjas. And the first 10 get skins or get characters made for them, I think it was. Some of the gameplay is pretty cool. Very uh, WoW-like style game. So special mentions I've got this week. Um, I don't know whether my web page is going to do it. So let's, let's put this in the background. Do um, so let's talk of some of the special mentions. Um, doll Society. That's a game based on Russian babushka dolls. Um, I just thought it was cool. It's a, it's a completely unique um, thing to what I would normally buy. Uh, they will be doing a mint, I think, sometime around the 13th. I believe that was. Geno Pets. They've been tweeting a whole lot. Move to earn game. It is going to be unique. End of year, maybe, gameplay. I do like what they're doing and it's going to onboard not normal crypto people. Guildverse, they've been going through auctions. They do 10 auctions at a time on Holoplex. Um, Guildverse had some pretty big numbers on their last lot of 10. Big numbers, I think there was one of them sold for 25 maybe. Um, I think it might have been an average of 7 Solana for theirs. Um, where's the rest of their videos? From there, Heroic Empire, I've talked about them a little bit, have I? No, I did a video last night and um, showed some of the um, stuff about them. I think that's going to be a fun and exciting game, but we're probably looking quarter one, quarter two of next year before we get anything major. Um, Open Era, 
They get mentioned a few times here and there in tweets. We don't hear a lot from them otherwise. Plush Flight League, a lot of tweeting in the public. Um, lots of little bits of snippets of gameplay. You'd have to hope they're going to be soon doing a launch of NFT sales. Solana Valley, they had another tweet from a TSM member today that did bump up the floor price on those guys. Um, their dev team looked good. Um, and I would imagine there's some kind of advertising uh, set up in there. Now, Solantasy, this is a game that doesn't really talk to me because of the, the, uh, the graphics, but um, it's, it's got a funny little community following. Um, and, I, and I'll put it there for that reason, is they're big in the community. There's a lot of talks about them. They've got a Wizard Mint coming up soon as well. Is it middle of October, maybe? Soul Chicks, they're doing another 2,000 Mint um, I don't know why they're doing another 2000 Mint. They did have a um, tweet from a, a, a celebrity. Um, yeah, their floor's gone up as well. Um, the game itself looks good. I've obviously questioned the um, the spending money on a, getting a uh, celebrity uh, endorsement. Um, but at the same time, the game does look good. So Life almost sold out their first 10,000. It's based on Game of Life. So I'm still putting them in there as a, a special mention. Uh, Stellar Galactic Force. Now these guys are minting their second batch. Their first batch of 2,000 sold out in four minutes for 0 0.042069 sold. Their second batch on the seventh is selling for 0.99. So under a Solana, 8,000. Um, and the last but not least is Zulana. I actually have them listed down to do a deep dive. I touched base, said hello today. Um, I want to deep dive them. There's a lot of research information there that I need to see, um, but it does look good for me. So that's going to be my top 10 slash 11 for October. Um, I'm trying to get some graphics. I'm trying to, I guess, grow the brand, make things easier to see, make my thumbnails look better when I post them and get that information out there. So I um, hope you guys enjoyed and thank you, brother, for the rabbits.